the history of Emmett Till? Did you feel like a sense of responsibility to make sure that you brought the story to life? When we hear Emmett Till, we only think of the story and, and what happened. Uh, there wasn't, uh, there, there aren't any audios, any videos of him. Um, and, and there was just really what we can go off of is what, how his mother described him. Um, so that's how I found out who Emmett was. And, and in a way, because we don't have any videos or audios, in a way, I feel like um, playing, portraying Emmett in this, I was the voice for Emmett. So I felt that held a lot of responsibility. talked about what Dr. King's legacy means to you. How do you plan to keep his legacy alive? OK, so starting off, one of my biggest mentors is Dr. Bernice King. She found me on Twitter, and she instantly fell in love with me. And ever since then, she's just been teaching me to lead with love and not hate. And honestly, I just want to be a role model to kids just like me, younger and older, doesn't really matter, just like how she was. The, just like how she was around model to me. How does it feel to be part of history? And I saw you, by the way. <laughs> Excellent. I'm sure. Oh, Excellent. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate that. And honestly, to, to answer your question, I feel like I wish I could talk to people who made history because I feel like when you're making history, you don't know you're making history. Right. That's so true. I That's just so like true. I'm so involved in the work, and I don't live in my own hype because mm -hmm. it's like my. I can't negate the fact that where I come from, I, I just come from straight struggle and misery. So it's like, I see that in my work. So I don't mm -hmm. see the hype, I don't see the history, I don't see mm -hmm. the accolades. And growing up Haitian, you know, as a Haitian, we don't understand like this American world, like, mm -hmm. like with like, oh, Broadway. I didn't know what Broadway was. Right. Chase, let me ask you this. In your opinion, what are the disadvantages of doing homework at home? It's some disadvantages because you might not get the lesson that you're doing at school and you come home and you don't get the homework and your parents, they haven't been in school for years so they don't know what to do. <laughs> but Chase, if you were the teacher, how would you assign homework assignments then? Let me know. If I was a teacher, I would do a pop quiz every Monday and test, test it the next day. And if the people that don't pass it, they're getting homework. But if the people pass it, they're not getting homework. You're actually considering stepping into the music industry? Yeah. So, yo, <laughs> let's talk about this. What's gonna happen? Give us some, some deets. After uh, I realized where I was with health, I was like, you know, I really need to get it together if I want a, a great career. You know, I, I want to be happy, healthy, have a lot of energy. So, um, yeah, I've been recording, I've been writing music since I was 16, but I started taking it real serious like a couple months ago. And I told mom, I was like, mom, I want a project. I want something. Yes. I want to put it yes. out. Yes. And she's like, okay, let's get this music done. Let's work on it. Let's perfect it. And Who else? I mean, come on.